Four years after its launch, the Škoda Karak gets an update. The Czech carmaker has refreshed its second SUV model range to ensure its continued success. In addition to an even more refined design language, the update brings sustainable materials, new technology and more efficient engines from the current Evo generation to the compact SUV. Surpassed only by the Octavia, the Kodiak's smaller brother was the second most delivered Škoda model worldwide in 2020, as well as in the first six months of 2021. Škoda Auto has continued to develop its design language for the revised Karak, making the SUV look even more striking. The wider, now hexagonal Škoda grille, slimmer headlights as well as tail lights, and aerodynamically optimized alloy wheels with black plastic aero trim create fresh visual highlights. The new wheels, rear window finlets and a new rear spoiler all improve the car aerodynamics while lowering its CO2 emissions. The interior features new upholstery which, as an option, can be made from sustainable materials. New technology, such as full LED matrix headlights and an expanded range of assistance systems, also debuts in the range. Five efficient engines from Volkswagen Group Evo generation round off the Karak update. Two diesels and three petrol engines deliver power outputs ranging from 81 kW, 110 PS, to 140 kW, 190 PS. The 2.0 TSI producing 140 kilowatts is reserved for the Karak Sportline and exclusively with all-wheel drive. The 2.0 TDI with an output of 110 kilowatts is available with front or all-wheel drive.
Karak is 4,390 mm long and 1,841 mm wide. The front wheel drive features a wheelbase of 2,638 mm while the wheelbase of the all-wheel drive measures 2,630 mm. The boot capacity is the same as in the previous model. 521L with the seats in their default position and 1630 liter when folded down. With Vario Flex seats, the boot can hold 588 liter or 1605 liter with the rear seats folded down and 1810 liter with the rear seats removed.